If you're getting ready to explore the Eastern Panhandle of West Virginia, you may need to get a caffeine boost here and there. While there are many options for coffee along your travels, we wanna make sure you know about the best local spots that will help you really get to know the vibe of each area. Plus, so many of you comment on our coffee mugs. I don't even have one today. We're gonna keep half of you happy and half of you unhappy in different ways. So anyway, <laughs> we thought we should take the journey outside of the studio and into the place where the best coffee is brewed. Many of these coffee Coffee shops sell local goods and are great connections to the local communities. These are our top six coffee shops in the Eastern Panhandle in no particular order. And we have an honorable mention at the end to a coffee shop that is just across the river in Maryland. Some of these have lunch, pastries, and ice cream as well, and they're the perfect places to refuel while you're following along with one of our neighborhood driving guides or visitor's guides. First up is Joan and Joe's Coffee in Charlestown. It has a cozy, small town vibe. They use organic, non-GMO coffee beans, have refillable coffee brew jugs, and offer all kinds of breakfast and lunch options. It's an awesome place to stop for coffee, and we love the little chocolate espresso bean on top. The fact that you can get a whole meal if you need to, which is perfect for us when we're running around in between appointments. If you're looking for more of a sit-down experience, you can check out Sibling Coffee Roasters in downtown Charlestown or La Gazelle. Both have plenty of places to sit and sell treats and other goodies. Next up is the Black Dog Coffee Company located in Shenandoah Junction. This is one of the larger coffee shops conveniently located right along Route 9. You can schedule a tour here to see how the coffee is made. They sell locally made soaps and lotions, books by local authors, and then some gluten-free foods as well. Which is exciting for us. Black Dog is truly a community space hosting everything from yoga, farmer's markets, food trucks, to a drum circle. And there is a knitting and spinning for you crafty viewers. If you want to get a full meal, be sure to check their website to see when the food trucks are there. Next, we have Amy and Alex's in Shepherdstown. My mouth is watering just thinking about this place. <laughs> they use local and organic ingredients to make exceptional ice cream and coffee. We can attest to everything here being absolutely delicious. We had trouble choosing flavors, but they do offer ice cream flights, which is a testament to how interesting their flavors are. They make different ones each week. Examples of past flavors flavors are Bumbleberry Crumble and Honey Lavender Blueberry Swirl. If you're still tuned in, do us a big favor and like this video. Even better, subscribe to our channel for future updates. If you're in Harper's Ferry looking for some craft coffee, food, and ice cream, you're going to want to check out Battlegrounds Bakery and Coffee for their delicious options. They offer sandwiches as well as authentic custard, which is delicious creamy ice cream made with eggs. They have some seating as well as plenty of handmade West Virginia crafts for sale. If you get ice cream, plan to not share it with anyone. Uh, we ordered a cup when we were filming a video. I think it was like nine in the morning. So we thought, oh, we'll just have a few bites for the film. And pretty quickly that ice cream was completely gone. <laughs> Chocolate and peanut butter combined is going Ooh. to get me every time. It was so good. It's very much worth the trip up the hill. Just know that historic Harper's Ferry can get crowded on the weekends. Mm -hmm. When we're in Martinsburg, we always stop at Burnt Bean Coffee Company for our coffee fix for their specialty lattes. They have unique flavors and also great locally made gifts to browse. I'm seeing a theme here. Yeah. <laughs> This one is smaller, so just plan to grab and go. Now for our bonus spot, it's Little Brick Coffee located just over the river from Shepherdstown in Sharpsburg, Maryland. They offer specialty drinks and pastries that will have your taste buds dancing. And they're very close to one of our favorite walking trails along the CNO Canal. There are more coffee shops popping up all the time, so comment below if you know of a great one that we missed so that our viewers know about it. Yeah, I mean, if you can't tell, we will check it out. <laughs> we definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> up next, get more up close and personal with Shepherdstown in our video exploring the pros and cons of this hidden gem. See you next time. Fist bump. <laughs>